Hey guys, this is Jay on T, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Uh, you may remember we are here in the Temple of the Ocean King. We are on the last level, I think, before, the, uh, before we get the sea chart. We are out of time on the Phantom Hourglass. I'm not quite sure where that thing appears from. Oh, right here. If we can just take it out, we'll get a few more extra seconds. Eh. Not worth worrying about right now. We'll wait for these phantoms to be looking the other way, and then when he goes past, we'll grab that force gem. Sneak it into our safe zone. And here we go. So we're in pretty good shape now. We just need to get that last one. Now that we need to do that, the only thing we need to do in order to get that last one is shoot this phantom in the back as soon as it goes past us. With that, I think we'll be able to make it drop the force gem it's carrying. There we go. And we're good. I never did stop and read what this pillar had to say. Offer up the fourth gem and send the sacred pedestals. It's pedestals. Okay, exactly what we expected. All right. Oh, we're still getting drained here. Interesting. We got the northeastern sea chart, so that's what we came here for. Now we can explore a new area of the sea. We did it, Link! This is the last chart! It's the northeastern corner! Now we can travel all the corners of the high seas. Let's go back to the ship. We've got new waters to explore. Excellent. There is, however, also a... Ah. What a big door! How do we open it? Interesting question. The path will open when you possess the ability to defeat a phantom. Well, that's something that we would certainly like to have. So, we got what we came for, the Northeastern Sea Chart. Next time we probably won't go through the top few levels. Um, we didn't skip them this time just because we had some newer items and we could do them a lot faster. Uh, but I don't think we'll be able to do them much faster next time. I've already got all the chests and such on the first few levels and there's nothing on there that requires any other new items so uh, 
we'll probably just skip them next time. That'll save us a little bit of time. Special delivery, watch out, incoming. Now this is a letter from Gongoran of the Gorons. Ahem, listen up. My brother, Goro Link. How are you doing? I have decided to work part-time on a southeastern sea isle. Stop by if you are in the area, brother. I will be the one rolled up in a ball and making a spectacle of myself. P.S. Enjoy the gift. Your brother, Gangoran. Oh, we got a courage gem. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Alright. We found all the sea charts. I knew you'd be able to pull it off all along, kid. Now let's make speed and haul in some pure metal. Alright. Then climb aboard. The open sea calls. Uh, I think I'm actually going to end the video here. I know we've got a little bit of time left, but I want to cut it off before I start out on any other... Uh, major excursions. So next time we will take our new sea chart and explore the northeastern corner of the world and uh, hopefully we'll find the last dungeon and get that pure metal. Once again my name is Jayon T. We are playing through The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Have a great day guys. See ya!